Alrighty, so we reset the game. Nothing else happened. Just a quick little reset there so we could load in and out a little quicker. And just to encourage the, the better frames. We were suffering some frame issues there. All right. I thought that said 6.9 mil, and I was like, how? That doesn't make any sense. I shouldn't have that much money. The game broke. 690K is much more reasonable, though. That's about right. Okay. Um, so I need to save this money. We can't fix the fleet up, which sucks. But I really need to save this money for, for buying stuff for the colonies when they when they grow like to the next size. We have a lot of other stuff we need to do, too. Um, like other things we could buy for the colonies. But the next industry is required. If I don't build the industry as soon as I can, it's just going to be longer and longer um, before we make money. So as soon as the colonies grow, it's very important that you build the industry, in my opinion. So we'll do that. We won't we won't really worry about the fleet. It's not very good, though. The fleet is suffering. That is that is very true. But we'll just let it suffer. And we'll leave this behind. Is that the only thing here? No, one sunder. There's a good sunder there. We do have... We did lose a sunder, so we'll take this. Take the sunder. And then go here. We need some crew. Quite a lot of crew. Geez. Okay. Didn't expect that, but it is what it is. And can I copy-paste this sunder? Is it... Do we have another laser? Auto fit. Yes. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's perfect. So we have four sunders. Two of them are really broken. That's fine. How can you get frame issues? Uh, I believe the game has a, uh, a memory leak. I could be wrong, but I believe the game has a memory leak. Um, so after after many, many hours, the VRAM starts to suffer. Um, so that's why if you uh, increase the amount of RAM the game you, you have available for the game, it solves it. Because um, it's not a terrible leak, it seems. But but yeah, after after like like five hours, I start getting framey. Runs on one CPU. The game's not multi-threaded? I didn't know that. Um, so that's 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 part of the reason for sure. Uh, com director, yes. No, no, no. There's no one here. Why is there no one here? That doesn't make any sense. There should be someone there. There's no one here either? Is that like a bug? Where are my people? Don't you have like an admin that lives there? I know I'm administering them, but don't you have like other people? I don't know. Whatever. Um, restore? Repair? Do I need to repair? Yep. How much? 400 supplies to repair? That's a lot, man. Whatever. It's fine. Or the reason it needs to restart from time to time is hit myself too with the mods. Yeah. With mods, uh, if well, when I changed the the Java to eight and upgraded the the VRAM or whatever, I I didn't I didn't need to restart ever. But um, definitely with mods, if you don't do those upgrades, it was it was required frequently. But with those with those like power upgrades or whatever, it, it I didn't ever need to. Um, this fleet, it's still good. Kind of. Um, it's not amazing. Um, I want to I wanna take this guy on, I think, though. Ready to world in the Tia star system. I wonder why it's telling me they're in Tia. Like, directly. Maybe this is the only world. Like, he's in, a, he's in like, a... Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they're telling me he's here. Without being, like, you have to find him. But we'll go here and kill him. And then maybe we can go by Naraka. There's a, there's a, um, a bounty there as well. And this is a smaller bounty. So it should be, you know, we won't die doing it, hopefully. Should be manageable. Are you a giant star? No, okay. Because I haven't, I haven't used my 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 slingshot for a while. I kind of want to slingshot around. We can we can slingshot away from here. I'm pretty sure this is an orange giant. Yeah, we can slingshot out of Tia. If nothing else, Walsh, if you haven't seen the slingshot, have you, dude? Let me let me just let me go to a giant here and I'll slingshot myself over. I don't know. Hema might be a giant. We'll see. We'll see. Is it close to the core systems, maybe? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Why, why it's telling me where it is? Maybe. I don't know, though. It, it's a bit weird. But we unlocked the slingshot today, dude. It, it, I've been trying to unlock it this whole time. It's very cool. I'm not seeing the new features already about the me on stream. Oh, let's go. So, is, are you a giant star? No? Okay. Fine. Uh. So, I can slingshot from here. It won't be that cool, because it's just here. It's better off of a black hole, but let me slow down time. Okay, hop in. Whee! You see how far you go, dude? It yeeted me over here. Like, we just insta-traveled. And then when, from a black hole, it takes you really far. The black holes yeet you. Oh, like, very, very far away. So you can, you can like, travel really well. It's very cool. Howdy, partner. Hey, uh, Pras... Prasilatus? 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 I don't know if I'm saying that right. Welcome on into the yogurt aisle. Get a bowl, get some fruit, and have a nice little snack. Well, come on in, Prass. Hope you're enjoying the show today. Was was the was the slingshot enough to give to get you to follow? If so, that's awesome. 
but we'll come on in. I really hope you're enjoying the show. The uh, the slingshot's cool though. It took a lot of effort to get it, like a lot of like scanning stuff. Not really like hard. It just took time, but it's really cool. I, I like it a lot. Um, why am I here? I'm not supposed to be here. What am I doing? Why did I pop in here? This is not the world I'm going for. I looked away when you did it. No. And please, no swearing, Walsh. No swearing in the channel. Um, I, I can, I when we will kill the guy and then I can slingshot away. I will do the bounty first this time though, because it does slingshot you like pretty far away. But we can sling off of this after we kill him. And again, this fight shouldn't be too tough to do. Um, irradiated world in the Tia Star system. Irradiated world. There's only one, so we will go right there. Your future plan for next update? Sling follow, indeed. The sling follow is coming out soon. Why am I so poor this month? Oh, because I took out 50k in stockpiles. Okay, fair enough. I was like, we should be making money, but that's fine. And the, the colonies, how long? 10%? Wow, that's a lot per month. So just two months there and a little over two months here. Okay, they'll grow soon. Engage, continue, all in. Um, and we really can't send in that many ships. If you haven't already, and if you're feeling frisky, please subscribe. That is, that is only if you want, folks, of course. I encourage the follows, but I don't really encourage subbing. I, I do very little to incentivize subbing. I, I, I mostly want growth. I will incentivize the subbing one day, but not this day. It will it'll certainly happen, but I want growth first. I think if, if I'm able to reach partner, maybe then I'll do more to incentivize subbing, but mostly for now, my, my only goal is growth. You know, if I, if I make money off Twitch, that's awesome. That's really awesome. You know, the money helps quite a lot. The money we make, you know, month over month. It's not a lot, but it's still quite awesome. You know, anything helps, um, but I really want to be able to do this as a living. So I think growth is much more important than the, the, the current subs. But that being said, I do value the subs quite a lot. It means a lot to me when someone subs. That's very cool. It's very helpful, IRL, which is the, the financial, you know, side of it. And it's very, very, like, supportive. Makes me feel like I'm, you know, doing well. Helps me invest in the channel. Growth is always great. Yeah. Growth growth be good. Growth be good. And I've always been very open about, about my, you know, my, my desires and stuff with Twitch. I, I do I do want growth, you know. I don't, I don't feel that's a bad thing to say. I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with talking about, you know, like the fourth wall type stuff. The more, you know, like the, the logistics side of my plans with Twitch and stuff. Maybe not the specifics of the logistics, but you know what I mean. My ideas on it and stuff. And the Sunder died immediately. What else is new? Uh, that's, that's not shocking. I think you're right about the Sunders trying to form a line with me at, at the front of it. Because they, they, they yeet forward sometimes like that. Quist merch all yogurt aisle. It, yes, you were correct. I would, I've, I've had some ideas for some merch before. I haven't done any, of course, yet, but I think we could get some cool yogurt themed merch going for sure. I wanted to take on that capital over there, but this guy's just harassing me, so he's like fluxed up, so I guess I'll, I'll fight him and kill him and then fight the capital. Oh, he's dead. No, my sunder. Stop killing my sunders. Leave my sunder alone. Okay. They should be leaving my Sunder alone. I'm right here. Attack me instead, please. Dang it, dude. The Sunder died without even raising a shield. It raised it at, like, the last second. But it, it could have, like, at least overloaded before it died, man. It didn't even try. So I'm, like, I'm shocked we lost ships. They're surrounding us again. My fleet, I think I think we have too many big ships. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I think the Astral is maybe, like, too big. Um, also, I have to vent. I didn't consider that. But I need to vent. Um, we'll just vent. We'll take some damage, but it's fine. We won't die. Um, but, like, it, it's just so tough for me to send in the, the Astral and the Paragon um, and have other ships to, like, help. Like, we, we get the Escorts and that's it. I don't know. I feel like I might just need to send in, like, one capital into battle. It's It's been a long time since I've played without the, the bonus, you know, combat size, though. Um, like, for a long, long time, we had much bigger um, deployment point, uh, like, capabilities, both us and the enemy. Um, so I'm just used to, like, bigger fights. It's definitely a different, a different like play style with the smaller fights. Um, it feels weird not being able to send in two capitals and then a bunch of ships. I normally can send in like three capitals and a bunch of ships. Um, so having having like two be be like a problem is, is very strange. It's 
not not something I'm quite used to. We'll get used to it again, like eventually, but I'm definitely not there right now. I'm definitely struggling with it a little. Escort package I've been particularly OP for your destroying escort capitals. That's like the idea. That's the idea. I, that's what I'm trying to do here with my, with my sunders. It seems really good, but I, I maybe the sunders just are bad regardless. Maybe I've built them wrong. Uh, maybe the, I need a different capital. Like maybe it would work better if I was on like an Odyssey, but I'm not. It's I'm not getting the value out of it that I wanted. Like they're they're not impressing me nearly as much as I, I thought they would. But I don't I don't know. It's tough. Maybe maybe I'm the one messing up. It's really tough to say. If I was like a real expert in the game, I could form this opinion better. But. I just don't know if I'm making a lot of wrong decisions along the along the way, so I don't I don't know if it's bad or not. And again, we've really only tried it with strikes and sunders. I think I think really it would probably do very well with low tech destroyers, um, like the little the little round boys protecting like a like a legion or something or a, an onslaught. I think that could be very useful. Um, so I think maybe it's the the high tech destroyers aren't as good as well. Like maybe low tech destroyers would be better for it. I don't know though. I'm I'm really just unsure, but we made 150k. We lost we lost a sunder, but whatever. We made some money. Um, I did, with the supply costs, I don't know if it was actual profit, but whatever. We need the money for the colonies. I'll, I'll live with it. Lasers. The range bonus seems insane. Yeah, it's that's that that's that was my idea. Is you you get the range bonus going, and then you give them ITU and advanced optics, and then they sit and they can attack at the same length as your capital. But they tend to go in still. Like I, they they tend to be getting closer than I want them to. And like, I don't know why. These ships have no weapons that are short range. This is 2,000, these are all 1,000, and they're all scaled up to like, you know, like 1,600 or like 2K, and then these are PD. So they, I, I wish they would just sit super far back, but I don't know, I'm struggling to, to make that work. Maybe I could give them like a, a defend order on a point or something. I don't know, it's really tough, it's tough. Um, do I wanna go home right now? Maybe. Is there another bounty I can do? The small one without losing all my fleet this time? Uh, wrong button 40 times. Oh, there, there are these system bounties. 24 days there, 31 here. 45 for the 60k thing. We can get this done pretty easily. I'll go up there. Um, so let me, let me uh, slingshot off of this. Slingshot away. Okay, yeah, so. Yeet. And I slowed myself down on that one. We could have gone farther. Um, I, I, I stopped it. Oh, but it yeets you really well. Is your fleet doctrine aggressive? First time chatter, Varus, Varus Sulk. Vera, Ver, Ver, Versa, Versa Cole? Welcome on in. Um, I don't, I haven't done anything to it, but I don't believe this interacts with, um, with this, this, cre this, this, um, controls the level of aggression officers will have on fleets you don't interact with. Um, the, the fleets that patrol your system. I don't think this has any, any interaction with your fleets or your, the fleet you control. This fleet is entirely controlled by your yourself, your commands, and the, the officer's level of um, aggression on their own. Um, this, I believe, only controls like if whether or not this guy is going to be reckless or, or um, cautious or whatever. So I have it set to nor like neutral there, but but I, I don't think that has any impact on it. Everyone totally is bad against shields. Like they do lack of kinetic range bonus seems insane. Likely to do lack of kinetic grammar and I don't I, what, what XRV? What are you saying there? Those, the, the last few statements there, I'm not I'm not able to parse very well. Um, the likely to do lack of kinetic and bram and notoriously bad against shields. I'm not I'm not sure what you mean there. Beam. Oh, beams are neutral. Yeah, that that might be the issue. I I do have a we're very heavily invested in beams with the fleet. So it, it, again, it, it might just be me. I might just be playing it poorly. Oh, there's an officer for hire here. Let's go. What can you do? Steady gunnery implants, that's fine. Honestly, gunnery implants give more weapon range. Maybe maybe we want that on our officers. Sounds good. All right, do we have, is everyone like leveled up? Level five, level five, level two? Level up this person, let's go. Energy weapon mastery, yes, absolutely. Why can I choose from 17? Oh, because I mentored them probably. I was like, why can I choose from 17 different things here? So they have the shield tank thing. Um, This seems fine. Hit my mic there, sorry about that. Oh, they can double level, wow. Okay, I'll give him the bonus range, sure. That's hopefully good enough. Then these guys can't level yet. I need to assign them to some. Oh, you're aggressive? We don't have many story points, but I wanna I wanna mention you back down to steady. 
Um, so we'll get these assigned somewhere eventually. I don't know. We'll see for now. Yeah, I I can put them on in a moment. I guess I should put I should put them on somewhere before we fight a station. The station's not that powerful, but I can just like throw them on. Um, you you normally go on a, a sunder, but the sunder's dead, so you'll go wherever you want now. And you can go here. Nah, you should go on this because I I don't send the aurora in all the time. Or at least I shouldn't. I I tend to, but I really shouldn't. Um, are they attacking me? What's going on here? Why can't I just disengage? What happened there? What was that about? That was really weird. I don't know what happened there. That was very strange. Running from your fleet. Oh, they, they like, want to attack if they can get there all together. Okay, whatever. I'll just fight them. Moving to engage. That's yeah, fine. We can, we can win this fight. Our ships are kind of brokey, but that's just because they need to repair. There's nothing special going on there. They'll just repair. Let me sip this tea as we approach. Okay. So we'll get up there. And I forgot. I don't know if we've actually been home, but I forgot to switch these if we've been home. I need to. I have performance upgrade, man. None of my mods will be working for a while for this. Or working on this for a while. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, fine with, with uh, vanilla. I, I, Since I've been playing vanilla, I haven't had any like desire to get the mods back, you know? I've been enjoying the, the playthrough just, just fine. So, um... I, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I'm, I'm happy to wait for the mods to update. Oh, I didn't do my defense thing. I was like, why are these guys up here? I was like, whatever. But I didn't I didn't have them on escort duty. That's why. They really should be on escort duty. That's, like, important. They, their, their thing doesn't do any... The escort package doesn't do anything unless they're nearby. So um, I do want them on escort duty. It'll help them out quite a lot. Going to be a fun time. Yeah. I was saying this earlier. I think I think the uh, escort package might, might be very strong with some mods. There might be some mods that that, that will go very, very ham on. Um, so I think there's a few changes, a few balance changes they made on this patch that some of the mods might have to also do some balance changes for it because they, they might be like super OP now or whatever. We'll see though, we'll see. All right, we're slowly killing stuff. And I would like to do the same strat I'm doing now, but with low tech. I would love to do a low-tech fleet with the destroyers and again see if like like this little thing I can't remember what it's called what are you called an enforcer I want to see if like the enforcer does really well as a uh, as an escort and we're, again we're still not like fully where I want to be I want to have Sindrian um, disc like Sindrian dictat sunders and I want them S modded so I'm gonna continue trying the strat uh, before I really call it bad but it's definitely not working as well as I wanted it to. But oh, I'm happy to give it more time. I'm happy to give it more time. Oh, my shield's up. I was like, why am I not getting the zero the zero flux bonus? But my shield is up, that's why. All right, we're, we're caught up to this guy a little. I can start hitting him. All right, good stuff. Yeah, I haven't fired a single Sabo like this whole time. I'll fire these, but they, won't, they just won't reach. They're too slow. I'm too far away. The Sabos are definitely not good. They, they, in theory, had some some power, maybe, but in practice, they on On this ship. In general, they're fine, but on this ship, they're not very good. Okay, why is this battle not over? There's, like, nothing left. They should quit. Why haven't they given it up, man? Give, give it up. Give up the chase, guys. It's over. You guys are dead. Oh, it is over. My bad. Oh, it just ended right now. It literally ended as I hit the button. I was like, oh, that's why it's not over, because it's been over for 20 years, but no, it actually hadn't. All right, so we'll go here, get 60k. Um, and I, I can't, like, trade with them because they're mad. But I don't know, it's fine. Um, launch a raid. No, no, not launch a raid. Engage the station, continue to battle. Oh, wait, we're all brokey. Yeah, whatever. It should be fine. It's it's, it's a weak station. Um, but I, I really should have let my ships get over 40%. Um, like, my weapons are just going to, like, turn off and stuff. It's not good. So that, that's that's my bad. We should have We should have waited, like, a day... See, we didn't we didn't even need to wait that long. Just a day, and this would have been fixed. Maybe like two days, but not not a long time at all. As long as there's no insanely like bad malfunctions, we should be totally fine. Like, we shouldn't suffer like at all from this. Okay. And I'll get up there eventually, and we'll start pounding on the the station. It's a midline station, so it absolutely sucks. Uh -huh. I have no respect for the midline stations. 
They are they are far and away my least favorite. They are they are just so much easier to kill in my opinion. Yeah, the Sunder went down. <laughs> I figured that was gonna happen. When I saw the station attacking that Sunder, I was like, oh, it's gonna die. That Sunder's going down. All right, we did some good damage to it. Did a lot of armor damage and stuff. Uh, hopefully the Aurora can keep its shields pressured pretty well, but I'm not gonna try to like spin around and get to it. Oh, if I could pressure the shields here before those Atroposes get there, that would be awesome. Okay, I mean, kinda. I think the Atropos has got some damage in. I don't know, it's full health though, so I guess not. We'll get it done. We'll get this taken care of easily. Airscrew package can be used on a cruiser too. Yes, but it's less effective. Uh, I believe the S mod doesn't apply on on um, uh, cruisers, and I think there's something else as well. Um, so it does work on the cruisers as well, but I, th I think it's not as good as destroyers. It might just be the S mod, but I think there's something else as well. Some some other thing that makes it a little weaker. After this battle, I can look at the, the mod itself see exactly what the what the differences are maybe it's like it doesn't get the bonus like the double bonus for i can't remember i feel like there's some difference we'll see we'll see ship recovery give me my sunder back it's so broken dude geez louise man um leave i have another sunder i can replace it with i think maybe i've already done that though i might have already replaced it with another sunder um so where are they at here Ship is in a thousand range with a larger friendly vessel, increases the maneuverability and stuff. Um, these are doubled. Oh no, yeah, so it's just the S mod, I guess, actually. That 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 is um better for destroyers. So you could put this on a, a cruiser and totally like it would be fine. I wouldn't be opposed to that. I thought there was more to it, more more that made it better for destroyers, but there's nothing. Um, and then the the cruisers would be closer to to the range. Um. And like four four uh, sunders is like twenty two or forty four points. I could find two cruisers that are twenty points each. Like how much is an eagle and a, like a falcon? Isn't a falcon only like fourteen points? I could have falcon escorts easily. Um, how much is this? Heck, I could have I could have a fury escort me. What is what is the weapons loadout on a fury? Synergy and a medium. I could do like two gravitons or whatever per fury. And then two like tack lasers and a missile, some PD. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to having three Furies protect or two Furies protecting me instead of uh, four Sunders, because they're they're just so much better. Um. So yeah, maybe maybe I'll try some Furies instead. And I th I think we have some at home. If not, I can just go buy some from TriTac really quickly. Um. Just because I I've really been struggling to make the Sunders work. I thought I really thought there was something else that made them better on um that made this thing better on destroyers. But it's just the S mod. It is absolutely just the S mod, so. Kinda wanna set a Fury to escort myself. I mean, they're, they seem to be good for the job. I, I think they'll do better than the Sunders, at least. Um, I'll have to kit them out some way. I'll have to figure out a good loadout for it, but. Just the ITU being better will make their range longer, and then they're, they're just, they can tank a lot better and stuff, so I think they'll be better. Emergency damage reduction not being big deal for heavy cruiser. I'm interested about the maneuver bonus provides, especially in on heavy cruisers like dominator and champion i didn't even consider the champion how much is the, the champion cost to deploy because the champion has a large which i i really i like that about the sunders um the the furies don't have a large so a gang of auroras 25 two of them's 50 as opposed to the 44 that my four sunders were but i think i would prefer two champions Maybe I could go two champions and two sunders? I don't know. Biggest problem with it is slow. But yeah, but the you know, with, with the escort package that could help it out a lot, so I think I think a champion could be a good a good call here. Um because like my, my paragon's slow, so that's fine. Like it can just stay on the paragon. And then the escort package will, will speed it up a little. Who sells champions? That's like the Persian League and stuff, right? Because it's a midline independence and Persian League, I think. Like if I had to guess. I'd, I'd be down to give that a try. Oh, I get Volatiles here? Let's go. I didn't know that. Um, I can go sell these to Thule for sure for a lot of money. We'll, we'll do that real quick. That's good money. We need money, so that's good money. I'll take it. Um, I'll check the other planet. Do I get Volatiles here too? Also, are you are you harassing me? A lot of Pilgrims? Nah, there's Pilgrims. Written by Dominators. They had better guns and heavier armor. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I want I want the I want the beam weapons on the champion. I'm probably gonna go for champions. Um, I think it would just fit in the fleet better, like like thematically. I did, I don't know if thematic should be what I should be going for here, but I think they would fit thematically a little better. Um, I want to do like the dominators or something, or like the enforcers when I get like a lower tech fleet, because I I want to do this again. I want to do another fleet with escort package, um, as like a core identity of it. So I'm, I'm probably gonna try to stick to the champions, and I I I think they're they're uh, the the Persian League. Are we friendly with them? Inhospitable? Can I like give them something to fix that? Not right now. Okay. Hmm. Is there a bounty in a, a Persian League world? Thule? Oh, it's an independent bounty though. Hegemony, hegemony. Hmm. What did, what did I do here? Starscape. I don't know how we're gonna get the uh, the Persian League to like me. Card Enforcer, because they're cheap. Yeah. I think the Enforcers could be a good choice for it. I think they could they could work really well. 300k, uh, like, negative this month. That's because we took all this stuff out. Um, we, we will make more than 300k profit, so it's fine. What else did I take out? Yeah, 800 supplies. Yeah, that's fine. We'll make, like, like a, a half a mil off the volatiles, so we'll pay for the supplies and make money off of it. It's all good. Um, so I don't know how rare the champions are. It was, it was kind of tough trying to find the Sunders. The, the champions might also be kind of tough to find. Is this where I'm going? Yeah, this is the... The Morn Gravity Well... Thulean Raider base, sorry, not bad. And eventually, if I get a, uh, 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 like a colony with heavy industry going, which we will have, um, I'm planning on having that, like, you know, semi soon. Like the colonies we have now, I'm gonna put heavy industry on. Um, but we, when we get those going, um, we'll be able to just build champions if I just get like the blueprint or whatever, so. I'm hoping we, we can just start building our own ships eventually so I don't have to worry about all this. All right, whatever, 400K. I was hoping for 500K. I'll take my 400K, it's fine. We'll sell these. Do you have a champion by chance? I don't expect you do, but maybe. Okay, no. All right, let's go to an independent world. See if they have a champion. And do the do the, do the Persian League hate me because they hate uh, Tritac? Yeah, yeah, okay. And they, they like me more so that they don't hate me because I've been working with, uh, like I've done stuff to help them out, so. Um, if if Tritac can end the war with the Persian League, then we can buy champions from him. But for now, I'm just going to. Oh, I, th I thought that asteroid was uh, like a little triangle or something. Um, oh, it's colony growth. Let's go. But I'm going to try to get some champions. I'll run around to different independent worlds to do so. So mining, I think, is just like pretty much the next the next thing we're going to do here. The next best bet. Could just go right into commerce, but I don't think it's worth it right now. I think I'm just going to do mining. Again, we need like heavy, uh, like the ground defenses and stuff like that. I just, I'm, I'm like too poor. I don't have money for that stuff. And how much is mining? Is it pretty cheap actually? It's like 100k. Yeah. What is, what is the um this into a mega port deal? Accessibility bonus is 80% and population growth is plus three. But what is it right now? 50% and plus two. So it's 30% accessibility. I'll do it. I'll do it on both worlds. So we have enough money to still do mining um, on the other world. And we have a little bit of money left after that. So we're, we're going to be poor once again. We're going to be poor for a while until the colonies start producing a lot of wealth. But that's okay. They'll eventually be good. They'll eventually start producing wealth for me. One day. One day. Somewhere over the rainbow. No one there that I want. All right. Do you guys have champions? No. I really think it might be um, only the Persian League that has them. Like, I worry that I can't even get them from Independence. Um, and I said earlier that we're going to do the main story. I haven't done any of that. Oh, sorry, my blinker's off. Yeah, I'll the scan. That's my bad. They like me even less now. Um, but we haven't done, like, any of the main story. Let's go do some of that. It'll make money, um, and it's, you know, it'll progress the main story so we can get the gates active, so we can go back to the Abyss and get the wormhole going and stuff. Um... So we'll, we'll get that going. We'll get the, the, the main story going. And eventually the war with the Persian League will be over. I, it might take forever, but it'll end eventually. They, you know, they, they do end. It sometimes takes a long time, but they do end. Don't want to go through the...
the storm. Zoom around it without taking damage. There we go. And I could try to drop off some of the fleet, honestly, if we're going to be doing like the, the missions for, for the for Sebastian. They just they take um like it's a lot of running around sometimes, so maybe dropping off the fleet would be a good call. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.